Good afternoon and welcome to Presbyterian Park here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for this afternoon's game between the New York Haberdashers and the Pittsburgh Presbyterians. At this time, I'd like to introduce the starting lineup for the visiting New York Haberdashers. Batting first, the center fielder number 11, Versi Moore. Batting second, the first baseman number 28, Moss Wirtz. Batting third, the left fielder number 8, Stump Phillips. Batting fourth, the right fielder number 40, Quiney Jagoff. Batting fifth, the second baseman number 23, Trevor Knockmoff. Batting sixth, the catcher number 19, Dip Poe. Batting seventh, the third baseman number 46, Boob Jenna. Batting eighth, the shortstop number 16, Stokely Hathaway. And batting ninth, the pitcher number 32, Beef Nuggets. And let's give a big welcome to the Pittsburgh Presbyterians as they take the field. All rise for your Presbyterians. The left fielder, number 27, Wilt Bupa. The first baseman, number 14, Jim Bobwe. The shortstop, number 15, Jimmy Soup Cutlets. The catcher, number 24, Shrewd Bland. The third baseman, number four, Bill Scottish. The second baseman, number six, Og McQuart. The center fielder, number 11, Spray Bradley. The right fielder, number seven, Condom Funnel. And taking the mound this afternoon for this afternoon's game, number 31, the starting pitcher, Cornio Abrasion. You may be seated. Welcome to this afternoon's game. This is Radio Pioneer Radio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, own KDKA Presbyterian Radio today. My name is Steve Chuckros. This is the Pittsburgh Presbyterians playing in game number 62 of the 84 game Continental League season, sitting at 30 and 31, trying to get back to 500 and try to make a late last ditch charge at the Continental League Championship. They currently sit. Follow. One game behind the New York Haberdashers. Hey, up to the right. plate, Versi Moore taking on Corny Labrasian today. Well, it's first out, Versi Moore uh, hitting a fly ball to left field. Will Cooper with the catch. Corny Labrasian is 3 and 4 with an ERA of 4 11. Start number 16 of the season for him. 47 strikeouts. He's pitched just under 100 innings across his first 15 games. Good for a roughly six to seven per game. Ball. A whip of 121, so he definitely did not no. uh, give up runs Take very easily. And he's going to walk with Moss Wirt, so that is, I guess, the one walk uh, being hit. Bring up Stump Phillips. Inside. Phillips is batting 370 for the Better. Haberdashers. That first four in the lineup for. The Haberdashers is a very scary uh, set of batsmen. Percy Moore batting 379. Moss Wirtz batting 454 and leading the league in average. Comes to the 370 is going to be on with a single and moving Wirtz to third. And it gives way to Whiny Jagoff who's batting 333 with 14 home runs. 39 runs batted in. And, four, and batting 407 with runners in scoring position of which there is one. So Cornel Abrasion is going to hit that into the air. That's going to be Spray Bradley. It's going to be a sacrifice. The throw is not going to be challenged at the plate. It will be a one to nothing lead for the Haberdashers here in the top of the first. <clears throat> Trevor Knockmore batting 307. Really just feel this New York Haberdasher team can really explode from the bats. They did win the uh, most recent game, 9-6, to six, the final score there. Knockmore. Two outs. It moves Jagoff. Oh, well, ja excuse me. It moves Phillips to second. Oh. And it brings up the, the catcher, Dip Pearls. A very good signing from that. Mud takes 326 as average. He is uh, effectively replaced Doug Lumps as the uh, starting catcher for the Haberdash. He's going to hit it right to Bear Scottish in 
in time to Bob Wade to retire the side, stranding two runners. But one run from two hits to start things off for the dashes. Presbyterians will take the plate for the first time today. On Way the ball. mound for New York is Beef Nuggets. Excellent signing from the Philadelphia Brown Trousers, where he went 8 and 1 last season. He's only 5 and 5 this season, but his uh, ERA is about the same 346. So it's 345, uh, 341. 52 strikeouts for Nuggets. And he starts out by getting Wells Cooper to pop out into foul territory to Moss Words at first base. Jim Babway is batting 350 today. One hit for Barbway, and that's going to be well. A diving knockoff. He gets a throw up in time. No, it's not good because he's going to leave the opening for Barbway. And I do believe that it's going to be, uh, that will be recorded as an error. So with Barbway at second, that's going to drop right in front of Stump Phillips. Jimmy some cutlets. He's going to be on with a single. It does not move Barbway. I believe he thought that was going to be catched, as I think every other person here in Presbyterian Park did as well. Oh, Stump Phillips must have either just misread that or uh, yeah. lost it in the sun or something. It is a beautiful day here at Presbyterian Park. Do encourage you to come out to Presbyterian Park, support Presbyterian, uh, the home side, and uh, enjoy a good afternoon of baseball. As right, so that's going to tie the game up. Dude, bland with an RBI single. Scores Barbway from second. And it is one to one for the Presbyterians. Jim uh, Barbway scores. Shrewd Bland hits RBI Enjoy. number 52. For, who is also, for the man who is also the lead leader in home runs. Yeah. Scottish is going to strike out. He was swinging at that one. That's the first strikeout for the Nuggets today. Og McQuare. Ball one. Two outs here. We're already seeing a lot of batsmanship coming alive for Wolf. One and two the count, and Nuggets trying to no. double. It's going to be a ground ball right to Boob Jenna, who will tag at third to Jimmy Soup Cutlets. Who will bring us to the end of the first inning. Well, a lot to talk about already in this one. It is one to one, but they were both scored in very loud ways. We get to the top of the second, abrasion on the mound. Facing Boob Jenna, batting 311 this season. 11 home runs, 30 runs batted in. He hits that with foul for one to count. And abrasion gets him jammed, popping up right on the foul line. To the second baseman, Og McQuart. Brookley Hathaway, 8th in the batting order. Hmm. Batting 240, 11 runs batted in. During the time, he's going to walk. That'll be uh, really the fourth walk for him this season. Abrasion not used to throwing too many walks as well. That's walk number 13 for him in 16 starts. A fancy done to end the inning. Well, Beef Nuggets hits right into it. I believe that was a bunt and attempt to move the runner. However, it was uh, not played in the best of ways. And the Presbyterians have a fortunate play work in their favor. Beef Nuggets will head back to the mound here in the bottom of the second to face. Bray Bradley already a two and four count fills it up. <clears throat> Edson striking out looking. So, what a way to start the start of the second now. Fancy Dan, of course, brought to you by Fancy Dan Follow for products. Put more fop in your quaff with Fancy Dan. You can try their styling salves, sculpting epoxies, gelatin-based tonics, and of course, crimping powder. Don't be a Mitchell, be a Fancy Dan. Two and two counts to Condom Funnel, and he will strike out as well. 
three strikeouts already for Beef Nuggets. Puts his total for the season on a 55. And he faces the pitcher, Corneal Abrasion. Two strikes down the middle already. Looked at. And he'll watch the other one go by. So a fourth strikeout. He strikes out the side. One, two, and three. Goodness me, Beef Nuggets is going to be a tough one to crack. Beef does not usually have a shell, but uh, his shell is going to be a tough one to crack as it were. Well, top of the batting order for both teams. Here in the third, Percy Moore, 0 for 1 today. It's that foul. So one and two the count for Versi Moore. Gets him striking out, so strikeouts might be on the menu today for both sides. Tony Elbrasian getting his first of the game. On the 48 of the season. Moss Watts takes one down the middle for a one-on-one -on -one count. Out number two, getting Wurtz, giving room for Phillips who had a single. He's going to hit that one high and far as he got the distance. Oh my goodness, it might. It is to industry. It's a home run for Stump Phillips, number 20 this season for Stump Phillips. That makes it 2-1 to one in favor of... I think that home run is brought to you by industry brand, colognes, perfumes, and fragrances. Why smell like anything if you could smell like the clean, fresh scent of industry? Whiny Jagoff is going to follow up by popping it out and bringing us to the bottom of the third. The Presbyterians find themselves down yet again. Best score of 2-1 to one, thanks to a Stump Phillips home run. His 20th of the season. Low. And Phillips are uh, very much high. I think that ties him with Ted Wigner for leading the league in runs batted in, as well as Woody will pop it up. Uh, number one, Jim Barbway reached on an error and ultimately scored in the first. That's going to hit right into the glove of a sliding Versi Moore. Good see what a catch that was. Very good. That's going to be fair. That's going to just get away from the glove of Stump Phillips. He has to retrieve it. It's going to be Jimmy Soup Cutlets. Two for two today with a double. Well, Cutlets is back to his hitting ways, he's hitting 371. I say that's, I say that as if he's had a bad uh, stretch of games, but he actually has, which was a, 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 an average like 371. You wouldn't expect that. However, he is in fact uh, been a bit of a, uh, been a bit of a slump, and it's good to see him sort of work his way back into the lineup and uh, perhaps maybe even a leadoff hitter again. But Ron Gooper has been doing it quite well, and Shrewd Bland will strike out to end the inning. One runner is stranded on second. It is still two to one in the top of the fourth. But Trevor Knockmore. Knockmore is one for one today. He had a single in his first at bat. And he will strike out. Strikeout for Knockmore gives Corneal Abrasion his second today. And Dip Hurls. That one foul for a one and one count. Hey, hey. Oh. high up in the air, De Pearls popping it up. Pony Abrasion is right there for the catch. So again, we're starting to see if he's being at a bit of a premium today. Tricky to get past these pitchers. These are the second in the batting order uh, in the rotation for both teams, but make no mistake, they are very, very good no pitchers. Tony <clears throat> Labrasian had a three and five record. I don't think that really showed what he could have been capable of doing last season. 
As he pops it right to Og McQuaid, does Boob Jenna for a one, two, three inning. Beef Nuggets will take the mound here in the bottom of the fourth. To face Bill Starkish, fifth in the order, 330. A Nashville Fire player earlier this year. Batted 257 Ball. over seven home runs, 11 runs batted in. Here, right. Hasn't quite reached that number this time. He is batting 330, which is outstanding. 58 hits this season. He did strike out in the first. Uh, he's going to pop it up to Stump Phillips. Bro. And that's out number one. <clears throat> Og McQuaff. He's he hit into a fielder's choice to end the first inning. Oh. Hit a line one foul. Outside. Low for ball one. One and one the count. Here. One and two. And he gets it right to Boob Jenna. Ground ball. Throw in time to work. Put out number two. Bringing up Spray Bradley, who struck out in the second. Shallow center, Versi Moore is there. But he made good contact, however, good enough to get a single and put Versi Moore out of position to field that. So, Condom Funnel will also hope to keep the inning alive. He struck out his first at bat. He's not throwing a lot of He's probably at 66. As he gets it, gets Funnel to hit it right to Stokely Hathaway. And that brings the fourth inning to an end. A New York lead by a score of 2 to 1 with abrasion throwing pitch number 6 to stop the tip. facing Stokely Hathaway who walked in his first that bat he pops it up into foul, foul territory should oh. land is there to make a catch in front of the visiting dugout and here comes the pitcher spot Beef Nugget has 5 hits this season ball out. 34 at bat. Swings at that one. Like a fool. That one was inside for a 2 and 2 count. And he's going to be on with a single as it gets past a diving Jimbabwe while he deflects it. And is unable to uh, make the play at first. Well, he was the first baseman, but uh, no one there to field it. So we head to the top of the order with one out. And Versi Moore, who's 0 for 2 today. Moore was a Charleston Pro where he batted 347 in the 17 games he played in the Nursery League. He's on base percentage was 360. He's hit it right to Cutlitz to McQuaid in the dirt for a fielder's choice. So it does put Moore at first. And Moss Wirtz, who is over for one with a walk, is going to keep the inning alive and single that one right up to Spray Bradley. Moore is going to try for third and he gets in without a challenge. So Sam Phillips hit a home run in his first at in his uh, last at bat. As runners on the corners, a good single he can get a. Get RBI number 57. And perhaps take the lead in the lead. Instead, he pops it up to Jimmy Cutlet to end the inning. So retiring the sides, we go to the bottom of the fifth. Still a one-run game. Corneal Abrasion will start for No, he will not. It will be Pope Lactavius the third. So a bit of a uh bit of a uh decision to uh, bring the starting pitcher out of this game early. Lactavius is batting 260 this season. Five home runs, 12 RBIs, and perhaps when they're seeing that hits are going to be coming at a premium, they go to a pinch hitter when they can. Stokely Hathaway is there. I can run quite into left field to get the uh, to get the catch. But it is out from uh, one. And we have back to the top of the order. Third at bat for Wells Cooper. He's over two today. No 
home runs, 28 RBIs for Gooper, and he will strike out three. Strikeout number 6 today for the And flirting with a, uh, a, a record. He goes and he gets Jim Barbwe swinging. Beat Nuggets. Seven strikeouts. And that will retire the side. So Presbyterian still down by a score of two to one. But Beef Nuggets has thrown seven strikeouts today. And we're only through five. This is uh, a bit Concerning for the Presbyterians, but uh, a record might be uh, flirted with. Tim Wakefield has that record for Amalgamated Baseball Holding. Whitey Jack off on the 3-1 pitch is going to ground it right to Bell Scottish. Go to Bob Ways in time. Mound, uh, top of the six is Boat Velocidad, five and three record, 6.35 ERA, 24 strikeouts. He's played, this is a uh, appearance number 37 playing this season. A whip of just under two, 1.94. He's going to give up a single. Kevin Nathmore with one out, and it's a dip. Pearls taking the plate. And Boob Jenna will, in fact, pop that one up for the final out of the inning. <clears throat> Bottom of the sixth. Outside. Keith Nuggets back on the mound. 81-82 pitches. All more. Take your base. And we'll start off with a walk of Jimmy Sue Peppers, who is two for two today. <clears throat> well, Shrewd Bland is uh, an RBI single. recent game against the Haberdashers again off of Herzl Good, I believe it was. It was a starting pitcher. I believe that's what happened. Home run off of. It's about going to the bullpen uh, midway through this game. Lost of that, I imagine, will come out back out for the second inning of his relief effort. He's not going to be getting, trying to get through the sixth inning. Pitch number 90 to fill the count up again. Stay alive in this. Oh, and we'll walk. So that will be two walks in a row, and perhaps the bullpen. <clears throat> the smoke signal for the bullpen might be coming off, and Ezra Maya Denov will come in for relief of the Nugget. Denov with an ERA of 5.53, a 4 and 3 record, four saves to his name, 18 strikeouts. This is appearance number 32 this season out of the bullpen, a whip of 149. And he will start off by loading the bases, walking Bale Scottish. Well, the Presbyterians seem to have a good opportunity at this moment. No out. Bases are loaded. Og McQuart is going to... Well, they go with the fielder's choice. He doesn't make good contact, so a fielder's choice keeps the runner. Well, puts McQuart at first, but it keeps Cutlets from scoring the fourth at play at home. However, that is going to tie this game up, possibly take the lead, and they do. Well, and a two-run single for Spray Bradley gives the Presbyterians the lead in this one. Spray Bradley with RBIs number 34 and 35. And on the ball, that is an attempt to steal, and that does put Bale Scottish at third. Condom Funnel, the strikeout looking, over, over three today for him. 
And now in comes Roth Loin. Roth Loins batting 167 this season. Not making too many appearances. He's going to, in fact. Pop it up for out three. Well, in comes Jig Flegelston. And it looks like Stokely Hathaway's day will be up. He will coming in for coming in for him will be Gauze and Blacksmith. So going with uh, batting power. Instead he will hit it right to the pitcher, Jig Flegelston. Two for four. Two and four, excuse me. In comes Kubi Bruzo. Boozle coming in as a uh, pinch hitter. Had to fight for his spot in center field, lost it to Jersey Moore. And he will pop it up into into foul territory for out for two. Hey. Go to the top of the order, Versi Moore is all for three today. He's gonna pop that one into the air. Is it gonna drop in time? It will drop for a single. And what could have been a one, two, three inning is marred by a Versi Moore single to keep the inning alive for the Dashers here in the top of the seventh. Pittsburgh Presbyterians holding on to a 3 to 2 lead, a very slim one thanks to an RBI, a two run single from Spray Bradley. Just last inning. Moss Wurtz. One for two today. A single and a walk. Well, he's going to strike out swinging to the other side. In comes Thermis Hearn. For Guzzle. And foul ball Duncans coming in for Gauze. Blacksmith will move to shortstop. Themis Hunt is 3 and 2 this season, a 9 8 in ERA. Part of that beleaguered bullpen of the New York Haberdashers. What the football will ground out to second base. Jim Barboy is going to hit that one high and it's going to drop short of the wall. Tom Phillips will retrieve it in left field and that will be a double for Jim Barboy, his first hit of the day. And he's on with a one out double. Jimmy Soup Cutlets has an insurance run. Nine, uh, away. But Cutlets is just going to hit it to industry instead of two run home run. But Jimmy Soup Cutlets. RBIs number 39 and 40. And it is a 5 2 game in favor of the Pittsburgh Presbyterians. Well, Thermos Hearn has given up another home run, number 14 for him this season. No water. Hey, right. Hits it to industry, does. Jimmy Soup Cutlets. That's home run number two, one, uh, 19. I thought it was number 20. Number 19. Will Bland will keep the inning alive with a single one out still here in the bottom of the seventh. And the Presbyterians are finding those bats yet again. with a double <clears throat> puts him on second and Bland on no third with Og McQuaid who is over three today <clears throat> that might be a pitch that was uh, off target for another run Whoa. 
is really not coming together for the bullpen of the New York Haberdashers as McQuert is walked. And the bullpen of the New York Haberdashers is most certainly is most certainly uh, not doing him any favors today, as it were. Presbyterians would happily take this. A four-run lead. Funnel will ground it right to Moss Woods. However, a three run inning for the Presbyterians gives them a 6 2 lead over the New York Haberdashers. <clears throat> As Jig Fliggleston faces Stump Phillips to start the top of the eighth, first pitch he will pop it up into the air. Looks like Jimmy Sue Cutlets has it. He does. He calls a good one off for the first out. Jagoff will start with a single up the middle. That's his first hit of the day. He doesn't have to ever sacrifice uh, in the first inning for the first run for the Dashers. This is who Trevor knocks off. Hits it high up into the air. That doesn't look like it has the distance on it. It should be an easy catch for Ray Bradley. Put out number two. Zip Pearls not having the best of days today. I think 3.26, but he's going three today. Over three today. It'll be out of this first single, but if all I did need needed to do was mention his name, I would have kept my mouth shut. Serious, but runners are on first and second, and a little bit of a rally coming here in the top of the eighth for the New York Haberdash. Oh, Jenna hits the first one foul. He is over three today. <laughs> Big swing for strike two. Ball. Here I reach out. And he will strike out looking to retire the side. So we head to the bottom of the eighth. The Presbyterian still with a 62 lead. Coming to the plate is Jig Fliggleston, or will it be? Yes, he will. He will stay in this game. Oh. Facing Thermos Hearn here in the bottom of the six. Oh. Second pitch, he pops up. And that is out number one. Oh. Back to the top of the order. Well, Booper is all for four today. Yeah. Very much like to see his kicking uh, oh. coming alive. Yeah, it should be an easy one for Thermos Hearn for out number two. He does not yeah. get it. And Booper having an 0 for 5 day. Leaving, leaving it free for Jim Barbwe. He's one for four. Oh. He has reached home twice today. Reaching on an error in the first that he was batted home by Shrewd Bland and Jim Cutlet. Oh. Two run home run in the seventh. Did in fact bring him home. He pops it out into foul territory. And puts the dashes up against the wall, top of the ninth. This is big legal spin yet again. First pitch is going to be off the wall for a double. Foul ball Duncans. His first at bat today. He's batting 326 this season. 
And in comes Joe Nelly. No. He's batting 245. He's only made his appearance in 23 games. Pretty off the bench. 53 at bats, 13 hits, two home runs, three runs batted in. Thank you, mate. He will walk. So with runners on first and second, the haberdashers have two outs on the board and Versi Moore. They have the top of their lineup yet again. Versi Moore, one for four today. That one was from his most recent at bat. That's from the bullpen. Swing, and it gets right to the glove of Jim Barbwe. But right there to get the out at first is Og McQuare throwing it to Figgleston. And in comes Warden Lobster to face Moss no. Wirt. The Warden Lobster. We're going to get the final two outs of this game. It's a bunch of Scottish. Does score the one run. But gets the out at first of Moss Wirtz. Moss Wirtz with another run batted in. That is number 35 for him. And with a three-run lead, one run on second, no. Thump Phillips Bubble. is potentially the last out. No, he will walk, so Whiny Jagoff with two outs on the board. Whiny Jagoff represents the tying run at the plate at the moment. Outside. What felt like such a certainty for the Presbyterians now is a bit in doubt. <laughs> Down the middle for strike one, two and one the count. That's going to leave the infield. It's going to go all the way to Walt Gooper. It will score one run. That brings home Joe Nelly. It is six to four, and Trevor Knockmore. Whiny Jagoff hit RBI number 41. Trevor Knockmore is now the go ahead run at the plate. The tying run is at first. No two outs. Two and two the count. Very important pitch here. Another single. Will it score a run? Booper trying to make the throw at play. No, they don't. It is a 6-5 to five game. The Haberdashers are making a meal. Are certainly trying to call in. As Winthrop Honeysuckle comes in to try to get this last out. Before the game is tied. Or perhaps... The Presbyterians are behind. The tying run is at second place. Second base. And he gets him, striking out swinging. Well, it was very close. It was ever so close. But the Pittsburgh Presbyterians tie up this series one game apiece with a win that puts them back at 500 for the season. The final score, the New York Haberdashers, five runs off four hits with one error. Pittsburgh Presbyterians, six runs off nine hits. Well, that will move the Pittsburgh Presbyterians into a tie for fourth place with the New York Haberdashers. Five and a half games out of first place at the moment. One more game to play in this series. The winning pitcher is going to be Bolt Velocidad. Bolt Velocidad getting his sixth win on the season. Six and three his record. Winthrop Honeysuckle gets save number five. And Ezemaya Denove will drop to four and four, getting the loss in that game. Well, the <laughs> finest standards of the day are brought to you by the Honeywheat Tobacco Company bringing you fine hand-rolled cigarettes grown in the fabled tobacco roads of the Carolinas. The third finest day of the day is Beef Nuggets with a five-inning outing. What a day he had. I believe he had uh, seven strikeouts to his name. Out. Yes, he had seven strikeouts to his name. What an effort for him. Um, the second finest dandy is Stump Phillips. Stump Phillips, who uh, had a 2-4 day, hitting a home run. 
But Jimmy Soup Cutlets is the finest out of the day, going three for three with a home run, a double, and a single. Two RBIs in the process with that home run. He gets a complimentary carton of Honey Wheat Cigarettes and is the finest dandy of the day. Well, the series will conclude for the two sides in a game that will, uh, I believe, will have both teams will have uh, a day off tomorrow before the series concludes on the fourth. Where taking the mound will be Rasmus Auctions for the New York Haberdashers to face Borty Bonks for the Presbyterian. That is before both teams head to the three-quarter time break where they can assess. And uh, I imagine based on uh, today's performances, both would like to probably uh, cinch up that bullpen a bit. I think uh, the bullpen might be a bit of a, uh, a, a, an area for improvement for both sides. And that will be an interesting thing to see as the season goes to its conclusion. That will do it for our uh, broadcast today. We'll join you back here in two days' time on Radio KDKA, Pioneer Radio, for Western Pennsylvania. My name is Steve Chuckrost. I bid you a good rest of the day. The game has ended. Go in peace.